Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. I don't know how Diddy gonna get out of this one, man. We got Gene Deal, who did an interview with the Art of Dialogue podcast. Great podcast, y'all go check it out, I'ma link it. And he was talking about his experience as Diddy's security guard and what he saw that happened to Usher. Y'all check this out. Well, I, I mentioned that earlier, that he said about Stevie J. The Usher part, that that's a touchy situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a certain feeling and I, I felt a certain way when Usher got on Shay Shay. He got on Shay Shay and he mentioned how great and how good Puff taught him and everything. I know and people know that was around that in that time that Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Let Usher explain that to you. Let Usher mama explain that to you. And the hospital was in Scarsdale, New York. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know, I know. And that is absolutely crazy. He doesn't explicitly say what the situation was, but people could kind of put two and two together and come up with what they think happened. Now, Usher was 13 years old when he went to Diddy's flavor camp, or what they called it, where Diddy had artists, taught them how to be better artists, become superstars. But then Gene goes into another situation that happened that he saw between Diddy and Usher. Let me re let, let me reframe you on something. Remember Usher? We was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio right there. His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in the mouth. Now I'm telling that because you take enough for somebody that you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right. And again, Usher was 13 to 14 during this period of time. So one, that's already terrible right there for a kid that young to be around a situation like that. And then y'all know what they say when you kiss a girl in the mouth and you done tasted something. Listen, y'all already got it. But now Gene goes into talking about Usher's feelings that he did on a previous podcast, using this to kind of show that Usher knows some wrong stuff went on while he was there. Remember, he was on one of the talk shows, the white guy with the curly hair, and he said, yo, would you send your son to Diddy Camp? And Usher said, no, no. Ask him why he won't send him to Diddy Camp. Now the show he was talking about was the Howard Stern Show. And I actually got the interview right here to let y'all see how Usher reacted when that type of question that came about. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you York over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some- Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna- In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it and it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. Didn't. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. 
Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. And, I, and, what, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? Now, when the interview came on, he kind of seemed kind of disturbed thinking about the flavor count when he got sent there. Now, that could just be me, but y'all let me know what y'all think. But it's very telling that he wouldn't send his own kid to that flavor camp. That tells you a lot about the situation. Now, we also got an interview pulled back up from the crates by Exhibit. Now, Exhibit went to Diddy's house and went to a party with Diddy and some crazy situations that kind of exposed Diddy's who he was at the time. Listen, y'all just check out this interview right here. Just yeah, what happened? Nah, I mean, well, uh, as a single man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have no shame in my game with okay. that. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I was at the time. And we went to um, uh, Florida. We got invited to a, a Puffy party, I the New the Year's Eve party. Uh-huh. Went to the party, you know. All uh, dudes? Yeah, yeah. Nah, it was actually a good party. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It, it was at, on South Beach, right? Right. So then we, you know, we go to the house and then, you know, uh, he, he invited us to the house because he wanted to go to the club afterwards. I was like, okay, right. cool. So, Superhead is with me. You know what I'm saying? Karen, Karen is, is with me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Superhead. Yeah. So, she takes me, she, you know, she, Puffy calls me outside. He's like, hey, man, you know, the um, that, that girl you you know about the girl you were. I was like, yeah, nigga. Oh, yeah, everybody know about it. You know what I'm saying? What's happening? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, uh, you know, that's the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what the you mean got, that's the devil? The devil got a pretty mouth. Yeah, and I was like, what <laughs> you mean that's the devil? You know, and then he was like, yeah, man, she, she videotaped you with fingers in the boot. That's a new movie. You know movie. what I'm saying? I was the like, what? The devil sucks like, penis. Hey, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? We're we're talking about. Rewind, rewind. <laughs> I heard a penis and a finger and a yeah. ass going, what? Said, he, he, he so gonna, Puffy tells you that he gonna, she. She will videotape you with fingers in the booty. And, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what, you know what does what that mean? So then, so then I go back in the house and I ask her, what the fuck are you talking about? He, he you said you're a filmer. No, I, I did ask him. He's just like, whatever. He, he went off and did his thing. So I don't know how you get filmed doing that stuff, but people do be high in cameras and stuff like that. But then Exhibit goes on to talk about further in the night. Mm. So we get into the truck. He said, let's go to this club. So everybody following the, tr- the, the car. The car is fucking silent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we get to this club, and then we walk in the back the back way. It's a VIP lounge. Ain't nobody in there. And then, you know, the club is going. It's all jumping. And then I'm sitting there with, with old girl. So I, so so then, so then, so then uh, you know, he he's dealing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music, and then she say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then it's girls in the club too, and then she point another direction. It's another dude over there, like butt ass naked. Dancing. Well, I've been. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we take off, man. You know what I'm saying? We lead the club so directly. I didn't say peace to nobody. So I didn't see nobody. Gay. Yeah, it was it was a suspect. Lot of male, a lot of lot, a lot of suspect. Exchanges. The club was you could chalk it up. You could chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever. I never blame it on. I, the, uh, I've been uh, in a gang. Uh, uh, I've been in a gang of clubs, man. The club was called. And I ain't, nev- I ain't never <laughs> mis- I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club having that kind of activity. So y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. I don't think Diddy gonna be able to survive this whole course of allegations man but hit that like button hit that subscribe button for me man y'all have a great day